welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be sharing an easiest way to upgrade to the latest version of windows 11 no matter you are on a supported or unsupported hardware and even you don't need any kind of usb or any kind of external drive so without any delay let's quickly get started And before starting guys make sure if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you so first you need to click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you have to click on disk management and now here we will be creating a virtual hard drive so that we can use it to install the windows 11. so here in the disk management from the top menu option you have to click on action then you have to click on create vhd in the location you have to click on browse then click on this pc select local disk c click on open now it will ask you the file name so type vhd that is stands for virtual hard drive click on save then in the virtual hard disk size on the right hand side you have to click on the drop down and select a gb and give a minimum space of around 14 gigabyte or if you have more space then you can give around 18 gigabyte rest virtual hard disk format will be vhd you don't have to make any changes here click on ok and within few seconds you will find that a new disk has been generated now what you can do right click on it click on initialize disk keep this to gpt click on ok so once it has been online now right click on the unallocated space click new simple volume click on next 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 in the volume label you can rename it as vhdx click on next finish all right so we are done with the first step now and if you close it and bring up the file explorer go to this pc so you will find a new disk over here and if I double click on it, as of now, it's empty. So basically, we will be creating this disk as a bootable drive so that we can easily install the latest version of Windows 11. All right, now next, bring up any of your favorite browser. Then in the search, you have to look for Rufus. Type Rufus and hit the enter key. Then click on the first link of Rufus.ie. And here, scroll down a bit and you will find Rufus 4.5.exe standard version you have to click on it and the file will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file click on yes it will ask you do you want to allow the Rufus to check for application update click on yes and this kind of Rufus dashboard will be up and in the top device section it will automatically detect the virtual hard disk that you have created but in case if it doesn't show up here, then you can click on the drop down and choose the new virtual hard disk that you have created. Next, in the boot selection, it asks you the ISO. So if you have the ISO of Windows 11 latest version, then you can select from here. But if you don't have, then you can click on the drop down, click on download, again click on download. And within few seconds only, you will be getting another pop up and it asks you the version. So click on the drop down and make sure it is being selected to Windows 11. Click continue. Then it will ask you the release. So make sure you select the latest version that is 23H2 version 2. Build 22631.2861. Click continue. Then it will ask you the addition. Keep it to Windows 11 Home Pro or Education. Click continue. Then it will ask you the language. And here you have to be careful. You need to choose the same operating system language that you have currently configured on your operating system so in order to find out you can click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt click run as admin click on yes and the black window will be up now here you will be getting a command in the description you can copy and paste here or you can also manually type then hit the enter key and after that you will find the installed language and it shows me english united states so I have to select the same language here and then finally you have to click on continue then it will ask you the architecture so keep it to x64 and then click on download now it will ask you the location that where exactly you want to download the ISO so you can choose any location click on save 
and the downloading of the latest windows 11 2 3 h2 will be started now here you have to wait for some time only until the iso has been downloaded all right so now you can see the windows 11 iso has been downloaded and the moment it will be downloaded it will automatically show in the boot selection all right so now finally what you have to do you don't have to make any changes if you want to change the volume label like i will change it to win 11 and then finally you have to click on the start and now it will come up with the most important part and this is especially for the people who want to install the windows 11 on unsupported hardware what you need to make sure here that you select all these options and this will be bypassing the 4 gigabyte of ram secure boot and the tpm check and even it will remove the requirement for an microsoft account and it will also create a local account now here in the box you can type your desired username like i will type crown and then finally click on ok it says warning all the data will be erased so click on ok and the process will now be started all right so again it will not take much time but just wait until the process is being completed and this process will now take a long time and you can see that it says the status is ready and it only took about few seconds only so once it's been done now you can click on close now the next time when you bring up the file explorer now here you will find the virtual hard disk that you created now it's been turned into a bootable usb so what you have to do just make a double click on it and here you'll find the setup option just make a double click on it again click on yes and the windows 11 setup page will be up now here first you have to click on change how setup download update click not right now click on next and it will be checking your pc and everything will be bypassed so you don't have to worry click on accept then it says ready to install and it will be installing the windows 11 pro key personal file and application now here if you want to make any kind of changes like if you want to delete everything or only you want to keep the personal file then you can select the option according to your need then finally click on next and then click on install and finally the installation of windows 11 will be started and it won't take much time so kindly wait until all the installation steps are being completed and bingo so finally you can see that the windows 11 has been installed and it's the latest version and if i click on windows search and type winver and hit the enter key so you can see it's windows 11 version 23 h2 os bill 22631.2861 and now if i bring up the file explorer go to this pc so you will find that the virtual disk has been disappeared but still you have to go in the c drive and you will find the vhd now you can select it right click on it and choose delete and then you can also delete the iso file that we save in the document section select it and just delete it so now you're good to go and you can now enjoy the latest version of windows 11 a part of that in case if you are not happy with the windows 11 and you want to switch back to windows 10 then you can right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left hand menu option you will have to click on windows update then scroll down and click on advanced options and here you have to click on the recovery option and here you get an option of go back it says if this version isn't working try going back to windows 10 so you can click on go back and then it will be preparing the windows it will asking you some question you can answer it and go back to windows 10 again all right so this is the best and the easiest way to upgrade to windows 11 on a supported or unsupported hardware from any pc without needing any kind of usb and without any data loss so hopefully guys you enjoyed the video if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye